Mike Tyndall describes Princess Kate as blown away behind closed doors. In a podcast interview, he acknowledged that he had expected the royal couple to be more dull, but applauded them for being down to earth. The public would be blown away to learn about the Prince and Princess of Wales personalities, according to former rugby player Mike Tyndall. In his latest book, The Good, The Bad and the Rugby, Unleashed, He Came Clean. Tyndall commended the royal couple for their down-to-earth demeanor when discussing their presence on his podcast with his mother-in-law, Princess Anne. He stated, I think the podcast humanized them a little bit, and I kind of wish they'd let us put the uncut version out, because it would have blown the public away. They came across as grounded, completely involved, humorous, and informed. It was a far more illuminating conversation than I had anticipated. Not because I had assumed they would be uninteresting, I already knew they weren't, but rather because I am aware of how meticulously everything pertaining to the royal family is managed. In addition to praising his mother-in-law, Princess Anne, for having more about sport than almost anyone I've met as a former equestrian Olympian, Tyndall's wife Zora is 21st in line to the British throne. Speaking on the podcast as supporters of the WRU, RFU, and SRU, William emphasized the value of sports for kids, particularly in teaching them about winning and losing. Kate then made a joke about healthy rivalry in the family. According to Prince William, it's critical that children learn how to lose, why we lose, how to grow from it, and what you can gain from the experience. But not to brag, but to win well. Playing team sports during your early years teaches you many valuable life lessons that will benefit you in your career, friendships, and relationships. I'm really not that competitive. I don't know where this has come from. Princess Kate quipped before acknowledging that she and William have never been able to complete a tennis match because it becomes a mental challenge between the two of us. As they're growing and trying out different sports, they're obviously still really young. It's going to be interesting to see how that grows and develops, Kate said while discussing their three kids. Shaking a few hands and cutting the odd ribbon are two further ways that Tyndall defended the royal family. Her life wasn't like an episode of Downton Abbey, with meals on long tables and everyone dressed in their finery every night, he said after meeting the late queen. As most others have done with their gran, he and Zara would instead frequently watch the racing with her on television. As they're growing and trying out different sports, they're obviously still really young. It's going to be interesting to see how that grows and develops, Kate said while discussing their three kids. Shaking a few hands and cutting the odd ribbon are two further ways that Tyndall defended the royal family. Her life wasn't like an episode of Downton Abbey with meals on long tables and everyone dressed in their finery every night, he said after meeting the late queen. As most others have done with their gran, he and Zara would instead frequently watch the racing with her on television. The podcast is hosted by Mike Tyndall, who is joined by rugby broadcaster Alex Payne and former player James Haskell. In 2011, he with Zora Tyndall, formerly Phillips, Princess Anne's daughter and her first husband, Captain Mark Phillips. 